Welcome to the Fitness Plus Technology Podcast for club owners, operators, and fitness professionals. Each week, host Brian O'Rourke brings you an expert interview with a global influencer at the crossroads of fitness and technology. You gain the insights, tools, and inspiration you need to stay connected to the pulse for what matters most for your business in the age of exponential technologies. Hi, everyone. This is Brian O'Rourke, and welcome to the podcast. Today, I have the pleasure of sharing a brief interview with Luke Carlson of Discover Strength. Uh, when we were together at China Fit and the URSA China Management Forum in 2016. Uh, the forum was in Changsha, China, which is a very historical uh, city. Um, and we had a great event there attended by hundreds and hundreds of the leaders of the Chinese uh, fitness and health club industry. The event has been sponsored uh, with China Fit and URSA since 2011. And in 2018, uh, we're going to have one of these events uh, in Beijing, I believe, and they happened in November. So you might want to check that out. Um, Luke is uh, a pretty well-known speaker and a very accomplished uh, owner of several strength studios. And we talk about his business and how he's using technology and get some insights from Luke. So I hope you enjoy uh, this podcast and interview with Luke Carlson of Discover Strength. Hey, it's Brian O'Rourke here and, uh, in China at China Fit 2016. I'm here with Luke Carlson of Discover Strength. Hey, Luke, great to meet you here at China Fit. Uh, is this your first time to China? First time to China. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure spending the last couple of days with you and the other speakers on the panel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and you've run a two-day PT management kind of workshop for Chinese uh, health and fitness operators, right? Yeah, so I just concluded day two, um, three sessions per day, so four and a half hours of content each day, and it's just been just been a blast. And so, you know, I've discovered more about your Discover Strength concept. You have three locations. You run a PT type model, and you've been doing this for about a decade, right? Yeah, we were early on in the, the emergence of the studio concept. So we do nothing but one-on-one -on -one and semi-private, or we call small group training. We've been doing it over 10 years. And you use certain types of equipment um, and you specialize in certain types of approaches to training. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, we're pretty narrow in our scope and how we train. So we love a mix of medics equipment and Nautilus equipment and hammer strength equipment. And the heritage that comes with those equipment is very much a part of both our training approach and then also the story that we tell our customer and that our staff are very much connected to. So we've been talking about, you know, the impressions that you've had of being in China. You know, right now, only about 0.4% of the population here is a member of a health club. Um, as I've mentioned to you when we were chatting, if penetration rates hit 15% of this country, the size of the industry for China alone would almost eclipse the entire global industry space. What were some of the things that you observed over the last several days of being here? So I think, number one, we're looking at an immature market that has a few key aspects or market conditions that make this a ripe market in, in, from an entrepreneur's perspective, a fitness entrepreneur's perspective. Now, that doesn't mean that there's the right cultural fit um, for the proliferation of a, a variety of different clubs and, and studios. But man, from the, just the standpoint of the growth of the overall GDP of the country and the, the gradual increase of the middle class of the country and the increase in the service sector as an overall percentage of the growth of the GDP since 1995, but specifically since 2000. 2006 is makes China a very interesting uh, market to be paying attention to, Brian. Yeah, I agree with you, Luke. Um, so we were talking a little bit, of course, this is a technology, fitness technology podcast. And you were sharing with me in your three studios that you operate in uh, the Min Minneapolis area vicinity, right? Yeah. Um, you were sharing with me some of the technology you're working on and have relied on in your, in your operations. Uh, could you share... Uh, some of that with us? Yeah, so a couple things. First of all, we rely heavily on MindBody. So we've used MindBody as a software for a number of years. And one of the things that we've loved about MindBody is they've been able to grow and scale and adapt to our changing needs, where in the past it was simply a scheduling 
platform for us. And now we run the whole business off of it. We even look at it as a, a, a marketing arm for us. And it's a way our customer can interact with us as a brand in the terms or on the terms that they want to interact with us in terms of how they schedule, uh, how we use our rewards programs. So there's there's so many ways that we're using MindBody and so many ways it touches our business. Now, another major thing we're working on right now is we're uh, using a new app or part of the development of a new app that our trainers will use on the floor with our clients. And we'll make the switch from a very old-fashioned clipboard and pencil to having an iPad and all of our trainers' hands on the floor at all times with our client. And that app will allow us to give meaningful real-time feedback to our clients in terms of their progression and their journey with us at Discover Strength. That's cool. That's really cool. I really enjoyed sitting in on, you know, unfortunately I was presenting when you were presenting at times, so I didn't get to sit in on all your, all your content, but really enjoyed sitting in on, uh, on a portion of it, particularly uh, on how to conduct productive meetings, which was very, very good. Um, so I really enjoyed seeing that. Um, any other comments on what your observations are around China Fit and this conference in general? Uh, anything that you noted? I think we talked about kind of the intensity of some of the people, some of the different kinds of uh, audience that you experience. Any other thoughts on that? So one of my big takeaways is that the audience is a very engaged audience, and maybe the level of sophistication of the club professional here is maybe even more sophisticated than I assumed. Although the penetration rates are very low in the country, the operator seems like they're more sophisticated than I would have imagined. And I'm just basing that, Brian, on the the questions that I fielded throughout my six presentations today. So we definitely have some some entrepreneurial operators uh, in this country. Yeah, and it was, and I agree with that. And then we actually had the opportunity, Luke and the group, um, to tour around a, a number of clubs in, in the vicinity. We're in Changsha, uh, China, which is a fairly large uh, city. It's the capital, Hunan province here in China. Uh, and it's m- my first time uh, in this part of China. Um, and it was interesting to go see some of these clubs. Um, uh, Mercado was one, um, you know. Um, you know, it's pretty interesting that you see these these operations, a lot of things that are similar to uh, U.S. operations and European operations and some things, um, you know, that are different. Um, well, Luke, any final comments for the audience? I really appreciate you taking a moment of time to share your viewpoint, background on Discover Strength, and uh, really, again, enjoyed your, uh, your time uh, here and getting to see you talk. I will say this, Brian, really one of my highlights, my absolute highlight of the last few days of being here, in addition to interacting with the audience, was I just had a tremendous time interacting with you and learning from you just in our discussion. So I appreciate the time and the opportunity to connect with you personally. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you as well. And to the audience, Brian O'Rourke again, uh, thanking our friend uh, Lou Carlson with Discover Strength for taking a few minutes out of his busy schedule. Check him out on LinkedIn. Check out Discover Strength. Check out what he's up to. This guy's an up-and-comer doing great things. Thanks again, Luke. Thank you so much, Brian. Hi, everyone. This is Brian O'Rourke again. Thanks for listening to the podcast today. I hope you enjoyed it. The podcast is brought to you by the Fitness Industry Technology Council, as well as my company, Videri Ventures, Moon Mission Media, and others. We hope you enjoyed the content. Please feel free to share it and join us again soon when we bring to you another leader in the fitness space talking about technology and what it means to our industry. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again very soon.